hello friends welcome back to my channel it parivar so guys today i'm going to show you how to disable administrator account for your all computers or any account which is existing uh, on your computer and if you want to disable that account so how you can do that using the group policy so suppose if you have a uh, uh, multiple machines uh, in your organization and if you want to uh, disable the administrator account which is created locally on the computer or any other account so either you have to visit i have you have to go to the pc one by one and uh, you need to disable uh, manually so uh, that will be uh, difficult if you have uh, uh, like 100 machines if more than 100 machines or more than that right so i can show you how you can disable the uh, local administrator account or any other account which is created uh, on your computer or in your organization using the group policy right so i'll show you step by step how you can do that how you can disable the local administrator account or any other account which is created on your local computer uh, which is joined to the domain okay so let's start now but before going ahead i want to request you uh, just to support me please subscribe my channel it parivar and please click on the bell icon so that whenever i will upload the new video you will get the notification for that okay so let me start now uh, let me minimize this window and let me show you one thing as we are going to disable the uh, local administrator account using the group policy so this is my client machine let me show you first <clears throat> this is uh, my client machine which is joined to the domain you can see the device name is abc and full device name is abc.itparivar.local this is fully qualified domain name the that means the this machine is joined to the itparivar.local domain now let me show you on this computer on this pc uh yeah by going to the local user and groups so suppose if you have a many more uh, computer and if you want to disable administrator account for all the computers okay or any other account uh, which is created locally on your computer or in your organization and if you want to disable that so you how you can disable using the group policy i will show you so here you can see this is this account administrator account is enabled uh, there is no any down arrow key uh, mark so that means this is uh, not disabled account now but if you can see this account and this account this account these accounts are already disabled let me show you just for the confirmation so you can see you can uh, account is disabled mark, option is check marked okay and let us check this option uh, for this administrator account this option is not check mark okay so this account is not disabled and there is no any down arrow mark so the down arrow mark will show uh, that like this account is disabled or any ad object is disabled right so as this uh, this machine is joined to domain and for now the administrator account is not disabled so we'll try to disable this account from the domain controller using the group policy okay let me jump on the my domain controller now okay so here i am going to open server manager and from here i will open the uh, group policy management okay before going ahead i am going to open here active directory users and computers you can see i ha i have created here one ou that is test ou and in this under this uh, ou the client machine which is abc is here on which we will apply the policy that is this machine right now let me jump on the domain controller again 
now <clears throat> let's create uh, one separate group policy for that to disable the local administrator account okay so i am here on the group policy object let's click on new name it here like disable local uh, admin account or if you if you need to disable any other com uh, account which is created on your computer so you can give your common name like disable local computer account it, it's up to you um, you can you can keep name as per your uh, requirement so let me say okay now let me configure this right click i'm going to right click here edit option and you have to as you have to um, disable the local administrator account or locally created any account which uh, which is created on the computers so under computer configuration you have to expand the preference option and then control panel setting option expand it here you can see the local user and groups just right click here click to the new and do go to the local user option as we have to disable the local user so we'll go here on the local user if we have to disable local group like administrators group or any other group which is um created on the local computer so we'll go here otherwise let's go here local user and you need to type here like which account is account you want to disable so for now we are going to disable administrator account so just here type the same account administrator account which is available in your client machine okay administrator right if you want to disable this account sky you have to type here sky okay so for now i'm going to uh, i'm going to proceed with administrator or uh, if you want to rename this you can also rename it from here but for now <clears throat> just uh, we have to disable this so just we'll type the name here which accounts need to be disabled so and then uh, after type this as you have to disable the account so just you need to select this option account is disabled okay apply and say okay okay you can see here one uh, entry is created let me close this let me close this one also and and okay i'm sorry <clears throat> as we have created the policy so again let me uh, yeah link this to uh ou so you can see this uh computer abc computer is in the test ou right so we need to link this uh disable local computer account group policy to the test ou okay so you have to if you have many more ou's you, you need to expand like the your domain name in my case this is itpro.local and you can see here so anyhow we have to uh, find that uh ou uh for which you uh, in which uh, ou the machine is uh available or if you want to uh, disable for your all uh, domain joint machine computers so you can link the policy here on the domain level so just right click and link an existing gpu and then select this and say okay but i am going to disable administrator account for abc for this uh, computer only and this machine is under test OU so I link this here on the test OU okay link an existing GPU and select this say okay close this and let's update the GP update GP update and force Let's wait for a few minutes. 
yeah computer policy update has completed successfully yeah user policy update has come so both policies successfully completed now let us jump here till now you can see it is showing like enabled it is not disabled okay now let me go to the command prompt here and in same way need to run the gp update space less force to update the gp update the group policy on this computer okay so i'm sorry there is some uh, issue i think user policy update has completed the windows enable to determine the new group policy setting defined by network administrator okay let me try once more by just doing gp update okay so we are getting some error computer policy could not be updated successfully um need to check that like why this is not getting updated here user policy updated successfully but computer policy is not getting updated successfully maybe we need to <coughs> uh reboot the machine or you can see the checking local system clock setting to ensure the okay <coughs> let me check the let me check the timing here 7 32 pm 12 to 20 23 okay i'm sorry guys okay so here the date and timing is mismatched due to that uh, the policy is not getting updated so we are going to learn one more thing here like if we'll get any uh, error like that so how we can fix that the date and time was not set correctly here on the client machine is 7 32 pm and it is 12 to 23 now let me set it here the same timing 7 22 and should be pm and that is second okay let's try again cmd gp update sorry gp date force So on the domain controller it is let me run it again now let me go to the client machine let me clear here clear this and run it again could not be updated successfully <clears throat> let's let me let me go to the group policy sorry group, uh, to the domain controller again let me run here again gp update sometimes policy takes time on the domain controller and then we will try to update the same the client machine so let me minimize this domain controller window and update yeah so now i think I command was in queue you can see the computer policy update has completed successfully and 
yeah you can see now arrow mark is showing here on the administrator account that means account is disabled now after uh, applying the policy account was disabled you can see here so guys in this way you can disable the administrator account or any other account um, if you want if you want to disable this account also or any other account in in same way on which uh, uh, that is available on your computer okay if you if you want i can show this one also but this is my the uh, different account so i don't want to uh, this is my local account also so <clears throat> as all accounts already disabled so i don't want to disable this account but in same way you if you have any other account on your computers you can use the same group policy and you can disable the uh, user accounts okay in same way uh, sorry let me show you one thing gpmc.msc so uh, in this video we learn like if we will get any if you'll get such errors how we can uh, uh how, what will be the possibility what will be the root cause why the policy was not getting updated so as we checked here the time and date uh, date was different on the domain control on the client machine due to that the policy was not getting applied on the client machine but after correcting this and running uh, the gp update force few times the gpu was applied successfully on the uh, our client machine okay so <clears throat> yeah so if you have to you know disable any other account uh, except a, a, a local administrator account so you can go to the same policy okay let me show you again just to brief if you have to disable uh, any other account except the uh, local administrator account so just you need to go to the uh, preference following the same process same as la last time and go here and you can see the administrator so if you want to disable any other user so suppose this other user is um, test or like I have here the SKY user so you can just uh, Put here SKY name and select this option account is disabled apply and ok and then you need to run the GP uh, update by going to the command prompt ok as I already uh, did that and after that you need to uh, go to the client machine and run the GP update command to update the group policy ok so guys in this way I think uh, mm, you can disable the local administrator account on your uh, computers or you can say for all your computers which uh, which are joined to the domain so guys i hope uh, this video will be helpful for you so again i'll request you to please subscribe my channel if you have any query just leave your comment thank you bye bye